Lauren Antonio can only be described as the worst of the worst when it comes to sexual predators and child molesters. He's a murderer and a rapist, and his preference of a victim was a three-year-old child. According to his parole agent, he was featured in the Sacramento Bee article in May of 1993, where he was pictured with a young child at a well-known social services provider here in our city. When arrested across the street from that provider, he was found in possession of weapons and in violation of his parole. He was returned to prison. Unfortunately, he was soon released back onto our streets in Sacramento, where he immediately escaped from the halfway house that he was residing in. Our police officers in the neighborhood, knowing that we had young children here, were concerned enough to provide us with Antonio's arrest bullet, which included a mugshot from his state prison records. He's a parolee at large and a wanted fugitive. One day, he just happened to walk by our office window. For the next 45 minutes, we trailed Lauren Antonio around the city in constant communication with the Sacramento Police Department dispatchers, who did their very best to try to find available units to come in and arrest Antonio. At one point, he was hunkered down across the railroad tracks from Har's Car Wash in Midtown. At some point, a train began to roll by slowly, and we observed a canine officer approaching us. By the time the train had passed, Lauren Antonio was gone. We would later learn that Lauren Antonio was arrested in Washington State at a state park where he had molested children. These are the kinds of people that Megan's Law was intended to protect us from. This is a parolee at large, and that's why we have the questions for the chief that you're going to hear next. Remember... Today you listen to News Talk 1530 KFBK. Reporting to 18 minutes before the top of the hour, Tom Sullivan, along with the chief of the Sacramento Police Department, Al Nahara, is here. Let's, uh, Chief, let's go to some questions. Dave in Midtown. Dave, hello. You're on with Chief Al Nahara. Hey, Tom. Thank you, Chief. I mean, if I may, just quickly, I think we have one of the most professional law enforcement agencies in the state of California to be commended for their leadership. I did have a very specific question, though. What are the chances that with uh, Crime Alert, Police Department's excellent website, we can do something about getting the public more aware of PALS in our city and the vast number of crimes that they create? And I'll take my answer offline. Thank you, Steve. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Dave, that's a, a real timely question. Parolees. Uh, parolees are probably one of the biggest problems that I have in this city right now in terms of violent crime. Getting the information out on parolees at large, you know, and when I saw your question, I thought, well, that's a great idea. And it, it kind of relates back to the uh, Megan CD. And I'm going to see what we can do about that. I'm not sure what the law is in terms of us being able to put that information out. We currently get it from the Department of Corrections. We're the only department in California that can get uh, direct access to the Department of Corrections parole files and get photographs and, and information on parolees out on the street. So the, the computer, who knows what people are going to stumble across and say, hey, the guy I work with is one of your parolees at large. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and again, that's, it's a great idea. And, I, I, you know, if you don't mind, Dave, I'm going to use that one because I, I think it's something that we need to look into. Uh, I'm real nervous about, about the plans that are floating around right now in, in the Capitol to release additional parolees into our communities. If that, if that happens with the current systems that we have, um, I'm in real problems. For the next half decade, Crime Watch continued to press the question to anyone who would listen, why can't we see wanted felon fugitives in great risk to our society somewhere, whether it be the police department's website or Crime Alert or even the Department of Parole? You heard the interview in 2004 where the chief said, hey, parolees are my number one problem. And he was concerned about the planned release of thousands of parolees here in California. Well, every nightmare that we had in 2004 has come to pass. Parolees in the city of Sacramento now outnumber our police officers 8 to 1. The problem is growing, and no one, absolutely no one, has wanted to ask the questions, why are parolees being dumped on the streets of Sacramento in disproportionate numbers to the rest of the state. We hope to keep asking the question, and I think with our new police chief, we might actually get some answers. So those of you who might have a passion for neighborhood safety and the fact that so many crimes are being committed by parolees and parolees at large, we'd urge you to come to that meeting on the 28th and see if those questions can be put to the guests that are here to educate us. Thank you for listening.